Hey guys, what's up? What's new? It's your girl Star, and I'm back again with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. So today we'll be reacting to Letter to Hercules. Without further ado, let's dive right in. When the Prophet Muhammad at a certain time in his messengership in the Medina sent letters to various rulers and dignitaries throughout the world at the time including the Persian Roman Emperor for example the Pope in Rome Nagus of Abyssinia Macolchus the leader of the Copts in Egypt and one of these letters reached Heraclius. Heraclius was the Roman Emperor at the time and when Heraclius received this letter, he called for his translator and he gathered together some of the Arabs who were there at the time and one of them happened to be Abu Sufyan. Abu Sufyan was a cousin of the Prophet and he was the leader of Mecca and the leader of the pagans at the time and he happened to be in Jerusalem when Heraclius received this letter. He called for his translator who translating Heraclius's question said to them who amongst you is closely related to that man who claims to be a prophet and Abu Sufyan replied I am the nearest relative to him and Heraclius said bring him close to me and make his companions stand behind him Heraclius told his translator to tell Abu Sufyan's companions that he wanted to put some questions to me regarding that man and that if I told a lie they should contradict me so there we are there we're in the court of Heraclius and Heraclius is saying okay you your companions stand behind you and if he tells a lie you must tell me that he's lying now Abu Sufyan said by Allah had I not been afraid that my companions were going to label me a liar I would have not have spoken the truth about the Prophet so the first question Heraclius asked Abu Sufyan was this, what family status has he amongst you? Abu Sufyan replied, he belongs to a noble family amongst us. Then Heraclius asked, has anybody else amongst you ever claimed the same before him? I replied, no. Was any amongst his ancestors a king? Heraclius asked. Again, Abu Sufyan replied, no. Heraclius asked, do the nobles or the poor follow him? Abu Sufyan replied, it is the poor who follow him. And then the Heraclius asked, are his followers increasing or decreasing? Abu Sufyan replied, they are increasing. Then he asked, does anybody amongst those who embrace his religion become displeased and renounce the religion afterwards? Abu Sufyan replied, no. Heraclius then said, have you ever accused him of telling lies before his claim? Again, Abu Sufyan says no. Heraclius says, does he break his truce? Abu Sufyan replied, no. We are at truce with him now and we don't know what he's going to do in it. And Abu Sufyan said, I could not find opportunity to say anything against the Prophet except that time. Then Heraclius asked, have you ever had a war with him? And he, Abu Sufyan said, yes. What was the outcome of the battles? Well, sometimes we were victorious and sometimes he was victorious. And then Heraclius asked, what does he order you to do? And Abu Sufyan replied, he tells us to worship Allah and Allah alone and not to worship anything along with him and to renounce all that our ancestors had said. He orders us to pray, to speak the truth, to be chaste, and to keep good relation with our kith and kin. Heraclius asked the translator to convey the following. I asked you about his family, and your reply was that he belonged to a very noble family. In fact, all the prophets come from noble families amongst their respective peoples. I questioned you whether anybody else among you claimed such a thing. 
and your reply was in the negative. If the answer had been in the affirmative, I would have suspected this man was following the previous man's statement. Then I asked you whether any of his ancestors was a king, and you said no. If you had said yes, I would have thought that this man was trying to take back his kingdom. In other words, use the mantle of prophethood to try and take back the kingdom. Then I asked you if he was ever accused of telling lies before this, before his claim to prophethood. And you said no. And then I wondered, how can a person who never lies to people lie about Allah? How could a person who never lies to people lie about Allah? And then I asked you whether the rich people or the poor people follow him. And you said that the poor people follow him. And so it is with all the prophets. They have always been followed by that type of people. The prophets are always followed by the poor and the weak and the oppressed. Then I asked you whether his followers were increasing or decreasing. You said they were increasing. And that is the way of true faith until it is complete in all respects. I further asked you if there was anybody who after embracing his religion became displeased and discarded his religion and you said no. In fact, this is the sign of true faith when its delight enters the heart and mixes with them completely. I asked you whether he had ever betrayed. You said no. And so the prophets never betray. I asked you what he ordered you to do and you told me that he ordered you to worship Allah and Allah alone and not to worship anything else along with him and forbade you from worshiping idols and told you to pray and to speak the truth and not commit illegal fornication. If what you said is true, he will very soon occupy this place underneath my feet. And I knew it from the scriptures that he was going to appear. But I did not know that he would be from you. And if I could reach him definitely, I would go immediately to meet him. And if I was with him, I would wash his feet. Heraclius then asked for the letter of the prophet, which was delivered by Dia to the governor of Bura. And then it was forwarded to Heraclius to read. And this is what the letter said. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful from Muhammad, the slave of God and his messenger to Heraclius, the ruler of the Byzantines. Peace be upon him who follows the right path. Furthermore, I invite you to Islam. And if you become a Muslim, you will be safe and Allah will double your rewards. And if you reject this invitation, you will be committing a sin by misguiding your peasants. O people of the scripture, come to a word common between you and us that we worship none but Allah and that we associate nothing in worship with him and that none of us should take lords besides Allah. Then if they turn away, say, bear witness that we are Muslims. This is of course the translation of a verse of the Quran. And Abu Sufyan added, when Heraclius had finished his speech and had read the letter, there was a great hue and cry in the royal court and we were turned out of the court. I said to my companions, surely the issue of Ibn Abi Kabsha, and that was a type of derogatory term they used, a nickname they used for the Prophet His affair has become so prominent that even the king of the Byzantines is afraid of him. And then I started to become sure that he would be the conqueror in the near future until I embraced Islam. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful, what a beautiful letter, guys. Wonderful video. Wow, this was really amazing, guys. I did enjoy this. I, I've been longing to um, react to this video for a while now. And I just came home from work. It's about 1 a.m. in the morning. But I'm doing this re reaction video till I f until I fall asleep. This was very interesting, guys. So they ask, um, in the letter they ask for, um, Heracles asks for a translator. 
right and he was asking who is related to the prophet which is muhammad right and abu sofian replied i am the nearest relative to him i don't know if i would take that position and 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 and, and say yes i'm related but abu sohan um accept um said that he was the nearest relative right and can you imagine that persons behind you you're in a court, right? And persons be there are persons behind you that knows you that um will tell if you're telling a lie, right? They will stop you and 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 say whether you're telling the truth or not. So the first question was, does anyone that um accepted his belief or religion become displeased and renounce the the religion afterwards? The answer was no which is islam right next question was um that heracles asks have you ever accused him of telling lies before his claim abu said no the next one was does he ever break his truth the answer was no then heracles asked did you ha have you ever had a war with him then abu sayan said yes heracles asked what was the 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 victory of the battle um, Abu said sometimes they are victorious while um, the others are victorious, right? Which was the prophet. Heracles asks, what does he order you to do? Abu, Abu Sulaan replied, he tell us to worship Allah and place no idol before him and pray. That's all. So he should worship Allah and Allah alone and not to worship anything along with him. No idol, no other gods, but one God, right? That's a good prophet because he ordered them to pray, to speak the truth, as just as the word of God, of of God said. Jesus said, "Speak the truth, and the truth shall set you free." Right? So indeed, we should try to tell the truth, no matter what situation it it will put us in. Always try to tell the truth. Nothing but the truth. So Heracles said, I asked you about his family and you said that he belonged to a very noble family. And just like um Jesus, just like all the prophets, Moses, Abraham, and all of the prophets, they all come from noble family amongst them, their respective people, right? And so the question was, have the prophet has ever been betrayed has ever betrayed anyone no but they have been betrayed just like jesus judas um betrayed jesus peter denied him right so when you look at this there's so much things that prophets the prophets um before um that came that was on earth that they went through a lot right and to think of it all of the prophets were followed by poor people the meek, the meek and humble, they all followed the prophets, right? So indeed, God is to be praised, God is to be glorified. We come to the end of another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, fabulous, and amazing, and I love and appreciate you guys so, so very much. Can you believe that if you're in a court and there are persons behind you that know everything about you, and if, and if you say something wrong, they will, um they will tell the judge that yes that person is lying or whatever that would be just so scary to think about it but anyway guys let love lead the way bye guys I wish I had a time you turn me on like a light switch